behind. And The Mighty is a groundbreaking 1954 disaster film directed by William Wellman and starring John Wayne. The movie follows the story of Dan Roman, played by Wayne, whose airliner experiences a catastrophic engine failure while flying over the Pacific Ocean. The film boasts an impressive supporting cast, including Claire Trevor, Lorraine Day, Robert Stack, Jan Sterling, Bill Harris, and Robert Newton. As the first disaster film to hit the big screens the high and the mighty laid the groundwork for the many disaster movies that followed in the 1970s. The High and the Mighty is a 1954 drama film directed by William Oloma. The movie takes place on an airliner flying from Honolulu to San Francisco, where the passengers and crew face a catastrophic engine failure. The film features John Wayne as Dan Roman, the veteran first officer who takes charge of the plane when the pilot becomes incapacitated. Roman is haunted by a past tragedy, and the engine failure brings back painful memories. As the plane struggles to make it to safety, the passengers' lives are explored in flashbacks, revealing their fears, secrets, and hopes. Each passenger has their own story, and the audience gets a glimpse into their lives and the challenges they face. The film is a study of human behavior under pressure, as the passengers and crew must work together to overcome the crisis. Roman's leadership and bravery are put to the test, and he rises to the occasion, demonstrating his skill and experience as a pilot. The High and the Mighty is a gripping and suspenseful film that keeps the audience on the edge of their seats. The performances are excellent, and the direction is top-notch. The film is a classic example of the disaster genre and is a must-watch for fans of John Wayne and aviation movies. Dan Roman, a character portrayed by John Wayne in the 1954 movie The High, and the Mighty is a veteran airline pilot who is haunted by a past air crash that claimed the lives of his family. This role offers a rare glimpse into a vulnerable side of John Wayne, which differs from his other macho and tough guy portrayals. Throughout the movie, Dan Roman's character is shown to be deeply affected by the tragic accident, which has left him emotionally scarred and unable to move on. His guilt and grief are evident in his interactions with other characters, particularly when he is in the cockpit, where he is constantly reminded of his past failure. Despite his emotional turmoil, Dan Roman is a skilled, an experienced pilot who is respected by his peers and subordinates. He is a consummate professional who takes his responsibilities seriously and is deeply committed to ensuring the safety of his passengers. As the movie progresses, Dan Roman is forced to confront his past and come to terms with his guilt and grief. In doing so, he is able to find closure and move on with his life. This character development is one of the most compelling aspects of the movie and is a testament to John Wayne's acting prowess. Overall, Dan Roman is a complex and nuanced character who is brought to life by John Wayne's powerful performance. His struggles with guilt and grief, as well as his unwavering commitment to his profession, make him a compelling and relatable figure that audiences cannot help but root for. Hundred years, maybe more, I don't know. <laughs> the fish, they don't school up. The High and the Mighty, a 1954 film, features a diverse cast of characters each with their own unique struggles and personal issues. The film's characters include a jaded former actress, an unhappy heiress, and an aging beauty queen. The former actress, played by Claire Trevor, is disillusioned with her past life in Hollywood and struggles to find purpose in her present. Her character adds a layer of depth to the storyline as she grapples with her own insecurities and past regrets. The unhappy heiress, played by Laren Day, is a wealthy woman who is unfulfilled in her personal life. She is trapped in a loveless marriage and seeks solace in her dreams of freedom and adventure. Her character brings a sense of longing and desire to the story as she yearns for something more than her current situation. The aging beauty queen, played by Jan Sterling, is a former Miss America who is struggling to come to terms with the passage of time and the loss of her youth. Her character brings a sense of vanity and pride to the story as she struggles to accept the reality of her situation. These characters, along with the rest of the cast, bring a sense of realism and humanity to the film. They are not simply one-dimensional figures, but rather complex and multifaceted individuals with their own hopes, dreams, and fears. Through their interactions and relationships, the film explores themes of redemption, forgiveness, and the human spirit. 
the high, and the mighty is a timeless classic, thanks in large part to its diverse and compelling cast of characters. Please check with immigration. Your flight will be announced. In the 1954 film The High and The Mighty, the crew faces a series of significant technical challenges during a flight from Honolulu to San Francisco. Early in the flight, the crew detects an unusual vibration, the cause of which remains unidentified. This vibration puts the crew on high alert as they struggle to determine its origin and potential impact on the aircraft's safety. As the flight continues, a more pressing issue arises when an engine catches fire. The crew must act quickly to extinguish the fire and prevent it from spreading to other parts of the plane. This emergency situation tests the crew's abilities and pushes them to their limits as they work to ensure the safety of the passengers on board. Another major challenge comes in the form of fuel loss. The aircraft begins to lose fuel at an alarming rate, forcing the crew to make a high-stakes decision. They must choose whether to attempt a landing at a nearby airport or risk ditching the plane in the ocean. This decision weighs heavily on the minds of the crew, as they know that the lives of all on board hang in the balance. Throughout the film, the crew faces these technical challenges with determination and skill. Despite the many obstacles in their path, they never give up and continue to fight for the safety of their passengers. In the end, their hard work and perseverance pay off as they are able to successfully land the plane and bring everyone on board to safety. The High and the Mighty is a thrilling and suspenseful film that showcases the incredible abilities of aircraft crews and their dedication to ensuring the safety of their passengers. Talking? Honey, you don't know what you're asking. <laughs> In the climactic scene of the high and the mighty, a tense and dramatic ending unfolds as the airliner faces a low altitude, emergency landing and rain swept San Francisco. The stars of the show, including John Wayne, deliver impressive performances as they battle the elements and their own fears to ensure the safety of their passengers. As the plane approaches the runway, the rain pours down, reducing visibility and making the landing even more perilous. The cast members' faces are etched with concentration and determination, their emotions palpable as they work together to ensure a safe landing. The tension in the scene is heightened by the knowledge that one small mistake could mean disaster for all on board. The passengers themselves are also a mix of fear and hope, their faces reflecting the gravity of the situation. As the plane touches down on the runway, a collective sigh of relief can be felt, both on screen and in the audience. It's a powerful and memorable conclusion to a gripping film. Throughout the movie, the cast has shown their talent and versatility, delivering nuanced and compelling performances. In the climactic scene, they come together in a truly impressive display of acting prowess, creating a scene that is both thrilling and emotionally resonant. Overall, the climactic scene of the high and the mighty is a fitting conclusion to a classic film. It showcases the talents of the cast, the skills of the filmmakers, and the power of cinema to transport us to new and exciting places. In The High and The Mighty, John Wayne takes on a role that deviates from his usual heroic characters. He plays Dan Roman, a part that highlights his ability to portray a more subdued and emotionally complex persona. The depth of Roman's character is primarily conveyed through non-verbal acting, which allows the audience to connect with his inner turmoil and vulnerability. Throughout the film, John Wayne showcases a range of emotions as Dan Roman, from quiet introspection to quiet determination. He effectively communicates the weight of Roman's past experiences and the burden of his responsibilities, making the character relatable and engaging. Despite the more subtle nature of his performance, Wayne's charisma and presence are still palpable providing a strong foundation for the development of Dan Roman's character. The audience is drawn into Roman's story and becomes invested in his journey as they witness him navigate the challenges and dilemmas that arise during the course of the film. The High and the Mighty offers a unique opportunity to see John Wayne in a different light as he steps away from his traditional heroic roles to deliver a more nuanced and introspective performance. His portrayal of Dan Roman is a testament to his versatility as an actor and his ability to captivate audiences with his powerful and emotive acting. You're not on the list. Mr. Kenneth Childs is on your plane, isn't he? Why, yes, Mr. Childs. You must have room. Robert Stack, known for his work in television, was cast as Captain Sullivan in The High 
and the Mighty after a personal meeting with director William Wellman. Initially, John Wayne had preferred another actor for the role, but Wellman saw Stack as the right choice for the part. The movie tells the story of a commercial airplane flight that faces danger and how the crew and passengers react. Stack's portrayal of the captain was a crucial aspect of the film, and his performance was well received by audiences and critics alike. The casting of Robert Stack in the role of Captain Sullivan was a significant decision that contributed to the success of the movie. The production of the 1954 movie The High and The Mighty faced a significant setback when Spencer Tracy, who was initially cast as Dan Roman, decided to withdraw from the project due to concerns about the director's strictness. This could have led to substantial budget overruns and delays, but John Wayne stepped in to save the day. Wayne, who was already a part of the film as co-producer, took on the responsibility of playing the lead role of Dan Roman. His involvement not only helped keep the production on track, but also added a level of credibility and star power that likely contributed to the film's ultimate success. The High and The Mighty went on to become a highly regarded movie known for its intense and suspenseful portrayal of a commercial airplane flight in distress. The film's success can be attributed in part to Wayne's powerful performance, as well as the strong supporting cast that included Claire Trevor, Laren Day, and Robert Stack. Overall, the story behind the production of The High and The Mighty serves as a testament to John Wayne's dedication to his craft and his willingness to step up and take on challenging roles both on and off the screen. That's me. I'm a fisherman. My family should be in fishermen for a couple hundred years. The High and The Mighty, a film from 1954, was unavailable for viewing for several decades due to rights issues. However, in 2005, it was restored and made available once again, much to the delight of classic film enthusiasts. The restoration process included the recovery of a lost reel, which was a significant find as it completed the film and allowed for a more complete and enjoyable viewing experience. The film, which stars John Wayne, tells the story of an airline flight that faces turbulence and potential disaster and the courage and resilience of the passengers and crew. The availability of The High and The Mighty Today is a result of the efforts to preserve and restore classic films for future generations to enjoy. It is a testament to the enduring appeal of these films and the importance of preserving our cinematic history. For those who have had the opportunity to see The High and The Mighty, it is a film that leaves a lasting impression. The performances, particularly that of John Wayne, are memorable and the story is both thrilling and thought-provoking. In conclusion, the restoration and release of The High and The Mighty in 25 was a significant event for classic film enthusiasts and a cause for celebration. The availability of this film today is a result of the efforts to preserve and restore classic films and is a testament to their enduring appeal. The hours pass. No, the watch is yours. I want you to have it. In the 1954 film The High, and the mighty, the character Sally Magee, played by Julie London, subtly addresses the theme of prostitution. The film, staying within the era's censorship rules, insinuates Sally's backstory instead of explicitly portraying it. This approach allowed the film to tackle mature themes while still maintaining the sensibilities of the time. Sally's character is depicted as a nightclub singer, but her past is hinted at through subtle cues. For instance, her interactions with other characters suggest that she has a questionable history. Furthermore, her demeanor and attitude imply that she has faced significant hardships. The film's portrayal of Sally's character is a prime example of how filmmakers during this time period navigated the strict censorship rules. Instead of directly addressing controversial topics, they relied on innuendo and insinuation to convey their message. By doing so, they were able to tackle mature themes while still maintaining the approval of the censorship boards. Overall, The High and The Mighty uses Sally Magee's character to explore the theme of prostitution in a subtle and nuanced way. Despite the strict censorship rules of the time, the film manages to convey a powerful message about the challenges and hardships faced by women in this profession. In the movie The High and The Mighty from 1954, there were casting challenges that needed to be addressed. 
Notable actresses like Joan Crawford and Barbara Stanwyck declined roles in the film, as they were not interested in playing the unflattering characters that eventually went to Academy Award-nominated actress Claire Trevor and Jan Sterling. Joan Crawford, a well-known actress during that time, rejected the part because she found it unappealing and not up to her standards. Similarly, Barbara Stanwyck, another prominent figure in the industry, also declined the role due to her disinterest in playing such an unsympathetic character. The roles that these actresses turned down ultimately went to Claire Trevor and Jan Sterling, both of whom received Academy Award nominations for their performances in the film. Despite being less known than Crawford and Stanwyck, Trevor and Sterling delivered strong performances and impressed the audience and critics alike. The casting challenges faced by the production team of The High and The Mighty highlight the importance of finding the right actors for specific roles. While big-name actresses initially rejected the roles, the film ultimately benefited from the casting of Trevor and Sterling who brought depth and nuance to their characters. The casting challenges in The High and The Mighty serve as a reminder that even in the world of Hollywood, appearances can be deceiving. Sometimes the most unflattering characters can lead to the most memorable performances. Show you where the in the 1954 film The High and the mighty John Wayne, a prominent and beloved figure in Hollywood, played the role of Dan Roman. Interestingly, despite being a central character and the film's primary focus, John Wayne's screen time was surprisingly limited. This reduction in screen time has been the subject of much speculation among film enthusiasts and industry insiders. One popular theory suggests that the initial casting of Spencer Tracy as Dan Roman may have influenced this decision. When Tracy had to withdraw from the project due to personal reasons, John Wayne was brought in as a last-minute replacement. Although Wayne delivered a commendable performance, the film's narrative and character development had already been tailored to fit Spencer Tracy's acting style and screen presence, leaving less room for John Wayne's character to fully shine. Throughout the high and the mighty, John Wayne's Dan Roman serves as a pivotal figure, guiding the other characters through a harrowing crisis. Even with his limited screen time, Wayne's portrayal remains impactful and memorable. The film's exploration of Roman's past and his complex emotions showcase Wayne's acting abilities, solidifying his status as a Hollywood icon. However, the unusual circumstances surrounding his casting and reduced screen time have left an indelible mark on the film's production and reception. John Wayne, renowned for his tough and heroic roles, showcased his versatility as an actor in the 1954 film The High and the Mighty. In this drama, he adopted a more subdued and introspective approach to his character, which was warmly received by both audiences and critics. In The High and the Mighty, Wayne played the role of Dan Roman, a veteran airline pilot grappling with the aftermath of a tragic accident. The film's narrative explored the emotional and psychological challenges faced by the passengers and crew on a long-distance flight, with Wayne's character serving as the emotional center of the story. Critics praised Wayne's performance for its depth and nuance, highlighting his ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and restraint. His portrayal of Dan Roman was a departure from the traditional heroic roles that he was known for, demonstrating his range as an actor and his capacity to tackle more introspective and nuanced characters. The film's ensemble cast, which included notable actors such as Claire Trevor, Laren Day, and Robert Stack, further enhanced Wayne's performance, creating a rich and compelling narrative that resonated with audiences. The film's exploration of themes such as courage, redemption, and the human spirit added to its enduring appeal and critical acclaim. The high and the mighty marked a significant milestone in John Wayne's career, showcasing his versatility and range as an actor, and solidifying his status as a true Hollywood legend. The film remains a testament to his enduring talent and his ability to captivate audiences with his powerful and nuanced performances. The 1954 film The High and the Mighty is particularly noted for its intense and dramatic landing scene, which has left a lasting impression on cinema history. The protagonist, played by John Wayne, is a tragically haunted man who finds redemption in the face of adversity during this climactic moment. Throughout the film, Wayne's character grapples with his past and the weight of his experiences, creating a sense of depth and complexity in his portrayal. As the story reaches its peak, 
With the lives of passengers hanging in the balance, Wayne's character rises to the occasion, demonstrating his strength and resilience. The landing scene is a masterclass in tension and suspense, with the audience on the edge of their seats as the plane approaches the runway. The scene is made all the more powerful by Wayne's nuanced performance, which adds a layer of emotional depth to the high-stakes situation. In the end, Wayne's character is able to find a sense of redemption through his actions, leaving a lasting impact on both the audience and the characters within the film. The scene is a testament to the power of cinema and the ability of a single performance to elevate a film to greatness. You know it's nice having a guy like Dan Roman up here. For a change, I don't feel like a grandfather.